All right, learning target three <clears throat> is to interpret statements that use function notation in terms of a real world context. So kind of taking that function notation that we just um, learned about and talking about it in terms of real world, which is another example of why function notation um, is a good thing. Okay, so we have a function here, f of x equals 9 fifths x plus 32. It's used to find the temperature in f of x degrees Fahrenheit for any given temperature x in Celsius. So x is Celsius and f of x, or what used to be y, is Fahrenheit. Okay? We're asked to find the specific value and talk about what each value means. Well, f of 15, let's first talk about what they mean. Okay? f of 15, that would be when x is 15. x is degrees in Celsius, so f of 15 is going to be the, f of 15 is going to be the degrees in Fahrenheit when Celsius is 15. So that's going to be that transfer. So if we figure that out, 9 fifths um, times 15 is what we're going to take, so that would be 9 times 15, and then divide that by 5, 9 fifths plus 32, and that's going to be 59 degrees. So F of 15 equals 59 degrees in Fahrenheit. All right. F of X equals negative 10. Again, we're given an input, we're given an x, so that's negative 10 degrees Celsius. F of negative 10 is going to be the degrees in Fahrenheit when we're at negative 10 degrees Celsius. All right, when we're at negative 10 degrees Celsius, then what are the degrees in Fahrenheit? Well, let's find out. That would be um, negative 10 times 9 would be 90, negative 90, divided by 5, and then we're going to add 32. So that's going to be negative 18 plus 32, so that's going to be 32 minus 18 is 14 degrees. So F of negative 10 is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, Changing it up a little bit, X when F of X is 41. Well, f of x is a degree in Fahrenheit, so now x is going to be the degree in Celsius when Fahrenheit is 41 degrees. 41 degrees, not 40. Okay? So to do that, we're going to put 41 in for f of x instead of x. So 41 will equal 9 fifths of x plus 32. Okay, so we're going to subtract 32 from both sides, and then, oops, make sure I draw my line down. Those are going to cancel, 41 minus 32, that's going to be 9 equals 9 fifths x. So we're going to multiply by 5 ninths to undo that. Multiply by 5 ninths, and those will cancel, and we'll have x equals 5. Oops. x equals 5. And so that means that when we have 40 degrees in, Celsius, in Fahrenheit, we'll have 5 degrees in Celsius. <clears throat> All right. And then finally, we have um, when f of x is negative 4. So that would be when our Fahrenheit when Fahrenheit is negative 4, what is Celsius? And that's what we're going to find out. So again, negative 4 is going to equal 9 fifths x plus 32 minus 32 from both sides. And we're going to have negative 36 equals 9 fifths x multiplied by 5 ninths, multiplied by 5 ninths negative 36 times 5, that's, I did the math already, it's 180, negative 180, and then divide by 9, and that's going to be negative 20 equals x. 
so that that makes sense. All of these, the Celsius is less than the Fahrenheit. Um, Celsius is less than the Fahrenheit. So um, those make sense in terms of the real world problem. Okay. So basically, when this is when your input is given, and this is when your output is given, and you have to find out what, how does that relate to our real world context. Example number two: h of x equals 0.25 minus 5 is your lemonade profits function. Um, so we're taking, I'm assuming where um, your h of x is your profit and then x is going to be each glass. We make 25 cents per, per glass. You have a $5 cost for a startup. What is an appropriate domain and range? Okay, so domain is the x values, right? And range is the y values. So we have to think about what is an appropriate amount of glasses to sell? Since our x is the glasses, and what is an appropriate amount of money to get? So y is the profit, right? So this can be just kind of an estimate. We're obviously not going to sell um, negative glasses, right? So our domain can be anything from, we're going to um, sell, we can sell zero, and let's say we sell, I mean, you can really just kind of talk about whatever, um, maybe we can sell 20, 20 glasses, um, and maybe we can sell more than that, but I'd say that's an appropriate domain, maybe you want to make that 30 or 40 or whatever. The range then, well, we know we can, um, Go negative, right? We if we sell zero glasses, we are going to make negative five dollars, and then if we just go based on our twenty, um, we're going to sell twenty times 0.5 or 0.25. That's a fourth of twenty. That's actually only five, and then five minus that'd be zero. So I don't like that domain. So let's go back up here, and so we know if we sell twenty glasses, we're only going to break even. So let's say we can sell a hundred. 100 glasses. Um, then our range would be, um, if we sell 100, then a fourth of that would be 25 minus 5. Then our profit, we can get up to $20 of profit. So our domain would be 0 to 100. Our range then would be negative 5 to 20 for profit. Okay, so we can, so we'll start to talk about that domain and range as well. So before class, why don't you try this question about Jason's car?